I feel like I haven't uploaded in what it feels like forever. This is the longest I've ever gone without uploading to YouTube in my 10 years of uploading on YouTube. It is crazy to me. In my last few videos, I think I briefly mentioned how just overwhelmed I was with everything and my lack of organization and just like feeling like I was all over the place and I needed to be there for so many different categories in my life that I just didn't have balance and balancing has been the hardest thing for me this year so I just needed that break. Um, I also kind of, not that I fell out of love with YouTube but I just wasn't happy uploading on YouTube and I feel like a lot of you guys noticed either with my presence or just like my vibe on the videos just weren't fully there. You know, I feel like unfortunately YouTube isn't the same as it was when I first started, which is fine because things change, things evolve. And you know, I started this when I was 18 years old. I'm 28, going to be 29. So it's it's been a long time, you know? Um, a lot of you guys either started with me way back in the day and are my age right now or older or younger. I kind of like briefly express my thoughts about this because part of me feels like YouTube is dead, which is not, but I just kind of feel like YouTube isn't what it was. The content creators that I grew up watching and that I loved watching and I still like watching, aren't uploading as often either so you know it's just not me i feel like a lot of people are feeling the same and a lot of us either have our own businesses or families to attend so it's just the time isn't the same and on top of that i feel like the content being uploaded to youtube isn't the same anymore and obviously that i have to say is the content's fault for example i personally miss the old youtube right i miss the old kind of content the more organic the more like silly brief content and not the super in-depth and the super produced type of vlogs so i definitely missed the more laid-back content which therefore that means that us creators need to bring those videos back if we truly miss them. I feel like they just don't get the same views anymore, so either people aren't as interested on it anymore or they just want to see other things on YouTube. So, yeah, I feel like I'm just rambling. I don't even know if I'm making any sense. I feel like I'm just rambling by now, but I personally am going to be uploading those types of videos that truly brought me joy back in the day and hopefully you guys enjoy them let me know in the comments what you want to see from me because i definitely miss youtube after taking this hiatus and break um i really needed that because i fell out of touch there with youtube i also want to say that you know us content creators constantly say like oh the comments don't get to me the comments don't get to me but realistically speaking we do read the comments and we are humans and we have feelings so a lot of the comments that I kept getting the last few months videos, um, they did get to me a little bit. Not necessarily that they were rude and mean, they were absolutely 100% valid and true I feel, which is why they got to me so much because I related to what people were saying and I felt bad because a lot of people were saying that I was either selling myself and just uploading sponsor content, which was true and it was valid. I don't think I was selling myself because to be honest with you guys, I am very transparent and very honest and very stern with the sponsorships that I take um, and approve. So I'm very selective when it comes to that, but I do feel like I lacked organization to the point where it was only sponsored content. So from the outer perspective, it looked like that, but I just didn't have time to upload or film organic content like I used to, especially with not the label, especially with me having to crochet all of my pieces and, you know, catering to that because that right now is my passion. Not the label is my passion. So I was focusing on that because it's what makes me happy at the moment. Um, I also have a wedding to plan, which has been pretty stressful, especially lately. Um, I have to give you guys a life update wedding 
series related because so much has happened um actually our engagement party was end of july i was supposed to edit that video <laughs> never did but i'm going to still upload it for you guys because i want to keep it for my memories and i feel like I would love for you guys to also join and be a part of the engagement party even though it already happened but yeah that video should be coming shortly and then i also need to give you an actual sit down update wedding related because a lot has happened but yeah what else i also have to start working on my fall collection for not the label which i'm really excited about definitely check it out if you guys aren't following me on social media or at not the label social media definitely do so because i update you guys there the most so yes i feel like i'm losing my voice as well i'm drinking coffee this is the worst half and half of life by the way but yeah i think that's everything i really wanted to chit chat and update you guys on but today i have a couple things that i need to get done in the apartment and i actually have a couple errands to run outside so we shall do that. I have a lot going on today or a lot of things that I want to get done today. I need to get some online stuff done, um, like contracts to sign and order a few things for future projects as well as at the label. I also want to organize my office today and take some pictures for Poshmark because I decluttered my closet over the weekend, which makes me really happy. So that's another video that's coming to you guys really soon. But I think I'm going to start working on the online things that I need to get done, so let's do it. All right, so I just finished doing some computer stuff. I ended up placing some orders for some campaigns that I have going on, one with calls. I actually have to do a like in-store pickup for that one. Uh, which I'll do in a little bit and then I also place an order with Sephora because I'm going to be working with Sephora and I'm really excited about it because I haven't done like a makeup tutorial in a really long time and I ordered a bunch of like super it products that everyone has been loving and I haven't tried yet so I want to give like my honest opinion on them I also did some wedding things which I'm really excited about but like I mentioned I'm going to do a separate video on that anyways now I'm going to get to cleaning the office so let me show you guys what it's looking like all right so here is what the office is currently looking like i have a bunch of yarn everywhere because i'm going to start working on the fall and winter collection i have this massive box of new clothing that i need to try on i also want to do a baby blanket and then just organize all of this my makeup stash right here as well and some new stuff coming really soon outside my window is everything pale and cold can't seem to pick up my phone it's been ringing all day long behind this cloud I know the song will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be right Somehow I must be Somewhere the sky is blue All right, so I cleaned the office as much as I could. I am going to start getting ready to head out and run some errands. But before I do that, I'm going to put away the coffee I got yesterday from Nespresso. So let me show you. So there's a Bloomingdale's near us that has like an espresso ranch in there. And we ran out of our pods, but we didn't want to wait until like they arrived. So I decided to go in store. And I just got a restock of our favorites, so let me show you. First things first, these right here are like addicting. And then we needed some espressos. We usually get the double shot, the Cairo, I think it's pronounced. Um, but the lady recommended the Bianco Leggero. And then we of course got our main favorite, which is the Melozio. So going to restock this right now. All right, 
And then this is what it looks like. I just put two of the Bianco Ligero there, but you guys, I cannot believe how in love and addicted I've gotten to the Nespresso. In my opinion, it's 100% worth it if you are a coffee lover or if you get Starbucks every day, just invest in this because I feel like it'll save a lot more money. You can also get the reusable um, pots if you want to use it for like your regular coffee like Bustelo, but it just doesn't taste the same. So hopefully they make something that you can like reuse it and save even more money since these are a dollar each. So, you know, it's still, still money being thrown out, but less money than Starbucks in my opinion. I would recommend to get it on Black Friday though. And this is from Amazon, so. I'll link it down below for you guys. Just finished getting ready. I put everything I need in my Napa Label tote, which literally fits everything and anything you need. However, I have a bunch of stops to make. I have to go to Target, Kohl's, Home Goods, um, Express. Before heading out, I always have to do a to-do list because I literally forget, like blank out after I step out of my house. So I'm gonna make a quick list. Let's... <sighs> There's something that smells in here. What the fuck? There's something that smells in here. Really bad. Like something's dead. Oh god. Anyways, who is she? I haven't given you guys a car update in a really long time. I mentioned to you guys a couple months back that I was looking for a car. I originally wanted a Jeep Wrangler. That was like my dream car. <laughs> Technically a G-Wagon is my dream car, but I always loved a Jeep Wrangler and I went and test drove it. Did not, did not like it. Long story short, I've been on the hunt since getting my license in December and I just, ha I took a pause to be honest. I took a pause because I feel like the market is ridiculous right now and I don't necessarily need a car because I just go and run errands like, you know, go to a couple stores and then come back. So I just wait until Eric gets home from work and then I take his car, which is this one. He's been financing this car, which is a Jeep Grand Cherokee and he recently changed job. He got a new car for his job, so now, technically, I am going to be taking over the rest for this car, which technically is my car now. So, long story short, he doesn't need two cars, so I'm going to be taking over this car and paying the rest off. Um, and yeah, basically, this is my car. Even though it doesn't feel like a brand new car or my car, because it's been his car for the longest, but yeah. And technically, he drives it more than i do regardless because um i like driving i just don't necessarily feel like the need to drive um i'm really hot right now but there's something dead in this car it smells really bad i'm gonna have to call eric about it there's something that's like dead inside of the car it smells really bad right i, I thought the same thing is it do you think maybe there's I've a known. dead animal in like the engine or something no Maybe. I don't know. If it keeps happening, I'll take it to the shop to get it checked. Maybe there's food left over somewhere or something? I don't think there's food. Okay, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Throw down the windows, maybe? I cannot. Give me a second because I have to figure out this smell situation. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Of like of course. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my this is disgusting. What do I do? Oh my god, what do I do? Do I just throw it out in a corner? Oh I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Holy shit. This guy's fucking crazy. Oh my god. Dude, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not even exaggerating. I was 
literally about to die and vomit with how horrible it smells in this car. Like, F that meat here for like five days, I think. I don't even know how that's gonna go away. So much for having an errand day because now I don't even know if I can drive to all of these places with how horrible it smells in here. All right, I'm back from doing my little errands. I just went to Kohl's, Express, Sephora, which is in Kohl's and Target. I honestly wanted to run more errands, but you guys, that situation that happened in the car, oh my God. First of all, the car looks so messy looking back at the footage, but yes, it needs a super intense deep clean. Um, and on top of that, now with that smell, I don't know how we're going to remove it, but we need to figure it out because <laughs> Oh my god um that was seriously the worst smell of life like it just smelled like meat clearly like dead meat like i mentioned i went to pick up some things from kohl's for an upcoming campaign which i'll share with you guys in another video and then i went to return some things at express and from sephora i only got two things random things i got these pore strips and then a sample of the replica bubble bath perfume that so many people seem to love and then from target we just got a couple things that we needed sensodyne mouthwash deodorant because i've been on the hunt to find a deodorant that works for me tmi but honestly i tried endlessly every single brand and none of them work for me especially organic natural deodorants so if you have any recommendations, please let me know below because your girl is in need. I got my favorite shaving cream and these pads that I recently saw. To me, they're new. I don't know if they're new, but these are the Pure Cotton brand. Anyways, I'm going to end today's vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am so happy to finally be back. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see in the upcoming videos. I miss you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.